show that the position vectors of point A, B, C and D given by the following vectors are satisfy the conditions that CD is going to be parallel to AB and CD vector equals two thirds of AB. Okay, let us begin. So here we will consider O to be the origin. So let O be the origin. We are choosing the origin so that we can define the position vector of the given four points such that the position vector of point A is going to be defined by OA vector with value given by 2i cap plus 4k cap. Similarly, we can define the position vector of the point B that will be OB vector. The so OB vector is going to be 5i cap plus 3 times square root of 3g cap added to 4k cap. We can define the position vector of the point C. So that's going to be OC vector. The so OC vector is going to be negative 2 times square root of 3 uh, J cap added to K cap. And then we have the position vector of the point D. So that is going to be represented by OD vector, which has the value 2 I cap plus K cap. Now using this, for position vector, let us try to find out the value of the vector CD. So CD vector that's going to be equals to, we take the position vector of the end point and from here subtract the position vector of the starting point. So we have OD vector minus OC vector. So that's going to be equals to, so we have OD vector given by 2i cap plus k cap. And from here we are subtracting OC vector, so that's going to be positive 2 square root of 3 j cap minus k cap so here k cap and k cap gets cancelled out and that leaves us with 2i cap plus 2 times square root of 3 j cap next we're going to uh, compute the value of ab vector so ab vector is going to be ob vector minus o a vector so here we have ob vector given by 5i cap plus 3 times square root of 3 j cap plus 4k cap and from here, we're subtracting the vector OV. So that's going to be negative 2i cap minus 4k cap. So that is going to give us 3i cap. Then we have plus 3 times square root of 3j cap. Yeah, 4 cap, 4k cap gets cancelled out. Okay, now uh, let's uh, try to rewrite AB vector. So AB vector is going to be equal to, if we take 3 as the common vector, then we have i cap plus square root of 3 j cap and we're going to multiply and divide by 2 so that we get 3 over 2 multiplied to 2 i cap plus 2 times square root of 3 j cap so that is going to be equals to 3 over 2 now 2 i cap plus 2 times square root of 3 j cap that's the vector cd so we have ab vector equals to 3 over 2 cd vector or we can say thus cd vector is going to be equals to two thirds of AB vector. So here we have proved that CD vector equals two thirds of AB vector, and also we can express CD vector as uh, equals to some scalar multiplied to the vector AB, where lambda is a scalar with a value equals to two thirds. And whenever this particular criterion is met, we say that CD vector is going to be parallel to the vector AB. Hence proved.